Search Engine Optimization Training Course Session Keyword Research Hello and welcome back again. In this video session, I'm going to share with you insights that you need to be able to do proper keyword research. But before I do, I need to take a minute and share with you um, insights and understanding regarding what search engine optimization is all about. As I've said to you at the start of this training course, that search engine optimization starts by customer profiling. Now, the reason for that is because if you step back and you know analyze the way that you search Google, okay. Now, people search Google to find answers to questions. So therefore, when we start thinking about keyword research and SEO along those lines, then um, we can optimize our landing pages, not just, you know, putting all the keywords in the right place, but we can optimize our landing pages because we know through our research, we know what our customers are asking. So therefore, on our landing pages, we can answer those questions. So therefore, when you think of keyword research, this is what you need to think, as in, you are trying to find keywords, as in, you are trying to find questions that are likely to be asked by your potential customers using Google search box. Okay? Because thinking like that will allow you to rank properly and also increase your conversion rates. Because at the end of the day, that's why you are having a website and online business. Not so that you want to rank per se, but you want to interact with your potential customers and um, hopefully allow them to become your loyal customers. And the only way to do that is not just choosing some random keywords, thinking, okay, you know, I'm going to optimize for that keyword and I'm going to rank that keyword and that's all I need to do. Okay? Instead, step back. That's why we've done the customer profiling because we're getting that idea about who they are so that we can optimize our landing pages to welcome them, to answer those questions they will be asking by using keywords. So, now that we understand that, let's understand what keyword targeting is all about. A lot of people will tell you if you've you know, researched online about keywords, they will say, oh, choose long tail keywords because they are easier to rank. Okay? <laughs> That's really, um, really silly information. Okay? Reason being, when you target keywords, wh whether they are two words long or three words long, or when you optimize your landing pages, you know, targeting certain keywords, meaning you place them in all the right places on your website and landing pages, right? You see, you actually never target, you know, um, three words long key phrase, okay? When I say that, Google keyword ranking actually works on per keyword basis. That means you don't rank three words long keyword, okay? Although, yeah, we're going to learn how to do all that stuff, but I want you to truly understand what keyword targeting is and how Google works okay therefore you don't you don't even rank your website or landing pages you rank a keyword single word it's your ability to optimize your website and landing pages and combine all that information so that you can target three word long uh, four word long or two word long keywords okay just keep that in mind anytime you think of keyword research. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's open up our internet browser. On my YouTube channel, I have made two great video tutorials that shows you all that you need as far as, you know, choosing keywords properly. I've got this video tutorial, which a lot of people have actually enjoyed watching and they've liked it. So, so therefore, I encourage you to 
watch this video tutorial. I've also created another video tutorial showing you how to do keyword research and do so for free using various different tactics. But what I have not shown you in these two particular video sessions is Google's um, display planner. Okay. Now you should 100% you know create an account with Google AdWords you know even if you don't want to advertise with them to be able to use this tool you need to create Google account okay but you know if you're serious about your online business and you can actually afford it perhaps you know just invest 50 to 100 dollars running Google AdWords to see how the keywords that you are chosen performs in Google AdWords side of things okay and you're totally entitled to do that but this search engine optimization course that you are learning from teaches you how to you know rank in Google organic results and do so for free okay so as I've said I have not shown the display planner reason being you know, keyword planner will 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 be good enough for you to find the keywords and if you follow the instructions in these videos then you don't you basically covered all the possible scenarios to to identify your keywords right keywords that are profitable and smart to target okay but because in this training course we are talking about customer profiling so therefore display planner is Google's version um, which actually gives you that insight about your ideal customers so therefore you know simply go to you know um, display planner and type your industry related search terms and just do a bit of research okay it has more options and all this stuff okay but you know as far as understanding your online industry and understanding who your potential customers are then display planner is a great way for you to see that insight as we can see it's telling us about uh, the age group um, according to what we're typing here and you know who's searching you also have different um, options here as in placements are you know which websites that you can advertise in display network of Google but nonetheless you can then perhaps go visit them and so on okay you have topics here where you know what Google is saying okay as far as the keywords you're typing we believe it is most closely related to this online industry okay so therefore this particular tool it's giving you more ideas into your ideal customers and what they do online and so on okay as we can see Google saying okay if you were to advertise with us you can place your ads on these partners of us okay as we can see we've got some massage keyword happening here let's press on that to see what else okay as we can see because we're typing keyword Melbourne in perhaps you know advertising on this website isn't smart but nonetheless perhaps you can go and visit them to see what they're doing and so on to get insights into your ideal customer because remember what I've said to you keyword targeting is that your ability to answer your potential customers and you do that through keyword research so that you can optimize your landing pages accordingly so that you can welcome them your landing pages welcome them because when you do that not only you will be able to you know bring potential customers every day through Google but they will also be happy with you know what they see on your landing pages because when you accomplish that not only you accomplish um, driving web traffic you also accomplish uh, uh, you create a pathway to a greater online success through your website